Well, I've been a diabetic for the last 28 years. I've had two kidney transplants. I've had uh, peripheral neuropathy. I've had uh, mitral valve prolapse, infection in my heart. Um, I've had um, uh, retinopathy in my eyes. And I've had infections um, ever since I've, I've had my two kidney transplants. In the first few weeks of taking the glyconutrients, the numbness in my feet, uh, the tingling, it basically almost disappeared. Um, uh, my insulin that I was taking, I was taking um, around 40 units. It was uh, decreased uh, almost 70%. Um, uh, my doctor is saying that uh, my eyesight from the retinopathy um, is basically gone. I also had osteoporosis. It, um, I've had uh, three bone scans done and um, they can't detect any longer that I had that. Um, from my two transplants that I've had, I am no longer on any of the uh, immunosuppressant drugs. Um, I am taking a tiny bit of one. The mitral valve prolapse that I had, um, it, it's basically, they can't detect it any longer either. And um, I also had rheumatoid arthritis in my hands, and um, it's basically all gone too. In the last four and a half years that I've been taking this, the technology here, um, I've not been sick. I've not had any kind of, of infections. I've not had any kind of antibiotics. The person that shared this with us, I thank him so very much. I think God has blessed me and my family. I put, think he's put me in, in uh, touch with the world now so I can share this with everybody now because it, it's totally changed my life. For the last 33 years, I've been an insulin dependent, brittle diabetic. Uh, I haven't been able to feel anything from my knees down for the last five years. After hearing about this technology, uh, I started and within four days I swung my legs out of bed and put my feet on the carpet and was able to feel the carpet under my feet and in another week and a half I was able to uh, I walked in the bathroom and stepped on the cold tile and felt the cold and the, the cold water splashing on my feet that's that's another thing that just doesn't happen to a diabetic. It just keeps getting worse and worse. If I were to thank the people that shared this technology with me, I, I couldn't thank them enough. Uh, it's hard for a diabetic to walk on one leg, uh, or anybody for that matter, but uh, that's what happens with a diabetic. You just lose a leg. They, they cut it off. Uh, you can't put a price tag on something like that. I'm eternally grateful. I was diagnosed as a lupus patient uh, in 1980, and the entire time I have had uh, different problems uh, going on in my life, and they kept getting worse and worse and worse. And uh, at the point that I was in October 2002, when someone told me that they had heard about this technology, on the radio the night that I came out to hear it, I knew that it was an answer to prayer because it just kind of just dropped instantly that this was what I was supposed to do. So all the symptoms that I had of the, uh, the problems, the immune problems that I was having, the breathing problems and stuff, they were sturdily going away. I have two replaced hips. I've noticed readily that I was able to walk better, move better, uh, getting my motion back, getting my life back. So it's been really great. It's been really great. In July of 2002, my daughter Patty, who was 33 years old at the time and had two small children, was diagnosed with AML, that's acute myeloid leukemia. Her subtype was M5, which was a very 
serious kind. We put her in the hospital and started aggressive chemo. She was in and out, mostly in, for four months, four rounds of chemo. Uh, the prognosis was not good with her subtype. It was uh, under 30% that she would survive. And as time went by, they weren't even confident with that. So they tried to find a bone marrow donor, a match, so they could do a transplant and couldn't find a, a, a match. Her immune system was down to a count of 100 and she couldn't leave the hospital until she reached 1,000. It was about this time that some good friends of mine shared this technology with me. They uh, thought it was something that she might be able to benefit from. While she was still in the hospital, she took one product for, it was about five days, and her white cell count went from the 100 to the thousand that she needed to get released from the hospital so she could come home for Thanksgiving. And uh, within another week, she was up to 5,500 count of white cells. The doctors were amazed and very pleased that her white cell count had come up that high. I, when I presented it to Patty, I knew what her answer was gonna be because she was so tired of trying so many different remedies for the fibromyalgia that had kept her in pain so long up until this point and I, so I told her, I said, Patty, this could be our answer to our prayers and please take one more thing. <laughs> please, for mom, just do one, one more. I'll not ask you to, to take another vitamin, another calcium tablet, or anything else. If this one doesn't work, I won't ask you anymore. And so she did for me <laughs> to shut me up, she will tell you. And by January, she had a normal uh, white cell. Of course, it had been normal for a long time. Then she had a, a normal red blood cell count and her platelets were way over 100,000, almost normal. That's when they decided we better do a biopsy because they'd already given her the hospice information and she has, had made her arrangements how she wanted her funeral and she was prepared to die. And she didn't, she kept getting better. <laughs> so they said, well, we better do a biopsy and see what's going on. He said he did a lot of slides and he didn't find a single cancer cell on any slide and he found no chromosome damage. 